Hello and welcome to another episode of Soul Alchemy, your podcast to help you remember your true power and unfold all of your potential. So today we are going to speak about the one thing that can make a huge shift in your life. Something that most people have never learned to implement into their reality. And if you can just develop this one behavior, you will, you will realize that it can influence your life in a huge, on a huge scale. Like you will notice such immense shifts in your reality. And you will also notice that your confidence will grow so strongly. So this one thing that I'm talking about, this one behavior is showing up for ourselves. What do I mean by that? By showing up for ourselves, I mean, I'm talking about really doing what we told ourselves we would do. Like most of us learned from an early childhood on that if we make promises to others, if we agree to do something for others, we have to do it. Like If we don't do it, the others are disappointed, they're hurt, we get in trouble. Nah, nah, nah. You know what I mean. So we have learned to really show up for others. Most of us at least have to learn to show up for others and like stick to our promises and do actually what we said we'd do for others. But we have never learned to do it for ourselves. So many of us have not had the right examples and have not had the right way of being raised that we had actually the chance to learn to show up for ourselves in the same way. And that is no one's fault. Our parents didn't learn it, so they couldn't teach us. And their parents didn't learn it, so they couldn't teach our parents. So this is not about uh, blame, blame in any sort of way. This is about realizing that by us noticing that and by us realizing that we are actually the ones who can make the change And make sure that the generations after us, the generations that follow our own children, they will not have to have to grow up without learning those things. They will get the chance to actually have example, have their parents live by example and show them how it's done. Or better said, how life can be easier for them. Because if we start showing up for ourselves, life becomes so much easier. Not at first. At first, it's a challenge. Yes, we might have to get out of our comfort zone a lot because we've gotten so used to abandoning ourselves. But as soon as we got the habit, we are noticing such immense shifts. Procrastination doesn't exist anymore. Life becomes flowy. Life becomes easy. And the best thing is we start trusting ourselves. We start knowing that when we tell ourselves we're going to do something, we're actually going to do it. There's no doubt in the world that we are not going to do it. So we start actually believing ourse- believing in ourselves and we start trusting ourselves. And that makes such a difference in life. So how do we do that? Like when it comes to showing up for ourselves, what is the one thing we got to consider? Well, one of the first things that I realized was that many of us were not even aware of what we're promising ourselves or what we're telling ourselves we would do. Like, it's so unconscious and we're so used to overriding it and, like, abandoning those ideas again that we're not even conscious of the things that we swore to ourselves that we would do, that we promised ourselves we would do. So the first thing is sit down and make a list. Sit down and make a list of all the things that matter to you that you told yourself you were going to do and that are really important to you. And when you have that list of all the things that you can think of that you told yourself you would you want to do, go through the list realistically and really feel out which are still the things that you want to do and which things are maybe something that you really wanted to do a while ago, but like it just doesn't resonate anymore. It's not a thing that you actually want anymore. So make a list. And when you have clarity on what it is that you actually still want to do and that is really important to you, then you got to go and do those things. Like, of course, you don't have to do them overnight. If your idea is I want to build my own business or I want to write a book, that doesn't mean you have to do that the whole thing tomorrow. But 
get started on it. Go and do the first thing. Like, I don't know, get informed on what you need to do to to create that business that you want to create or find a topic for your book if you haven't yet found a theme that you t- that you want your book to evolve around or s- go write that first page you know like start with that first step and then make a plan like i don't know if you're if you're um, writing a book let's say make a plan that each week you write five pages if that's something that sounds good to you and realistic to do to you and then go do it. Stick to those things. And I'm not saying override yourself in the sense of like, if you're down for a week with a bad flu and you're having 40 degrees Celsius of fever and you're like completely knocked out, you're not going to go force yourself in front of the PC and write those five pages. Let's be be realistic. Like health has to come first. But if you're just having uh, an annoying week, for example, and you had a lot of bad days and you're just having those emotional, having a lot of emotional stuff going on and you're just not feeling like writing, that is where you got to catch yourself. And that is where you got to like get yourself to show up anyway and drag yourself in front of the PC, sit down and write because that's where it matters. That's where personal power comes into the space. Our power to choose what we do based on what we really want in our life and not letting our emotions rule our reality. That is very important. Like with me showing up for this video today, for example, I like was in a fight with my partner earlier. I was not in the mood, like emotionally. I was like, oh, I don't want to show up on a video today. I'm not feeling like I can show up. So I had a little talk with myself. And I reminded myself how much it matters to me to show up for this video today and bring out that message to you. So I got myself ready and I came here and I showed up because I know I can. My emotions are not the boss of me. And that's exactly the attitude we want to develop. We don't want to override our well-being, but we also don't want to be dictated by our emotions anymore, but we want to be the boss. That doesn't mean we suppress emotions. We feel them, we navigate them, we let them flow through us. But we realize we are not the emotions. We are not dictated by them. And we can choose even if we're feeling differently. Like even if we're feeling like we don't want to, we can choose to do it anyway, knowing that it means a lot to us and it will do us well to do it anyway. That is a very important aspect of showing up for ourselves. And then the second thing that is very important when it comes to showing up for ourselves is to actually become clear what are the things on a daily basis where we need to show up for ourselves more. Like, for example, you started meditating and you're noticing meditation does you well, but it's not part of your daily routine. It's not part of your habit. It doesn't come naturally and it costs you, you know, like it it really costs you to get yourself to sit down and meditate, although you feel better afterwards every time. Or you want to develop a new sports routine because... Doing sports every day does you well, but you're not used to doing sports every day. So it costs you to get yourself to get up and actually do the sports because you're usually not feeling like it. So these are the daily things where we got to develop the habit of getting over ourselves, getting over our little self, our ego, our the part of us who just wants to stay in the comfort zone that we're used to. And actually push ourselves to do the thing that we know does us so well and matters to us and makes us end up feeling a lot better. Although right now it feels uncomfortable to do. It feels uncomfortable to push ourselves to do that thing. That is the second thing about showing up for ourselves. Learn to do the daily things like Get the habit of pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone to develop those daily routines who really support you, that really help you, that really make you feel better. And that is actually the perfect training because when we start developing that habit of like creating daily routines that do as well, even if it costs us, like even if it's outside our comfort zone and we really it, it takes a bit of inner strength and convincing ourselves to actually get to do it we also develop that strength when it comes to bigger projects like I like the example of writing the book building the business 
as the more we notice that we actually stick to what we're telling ourselves we're going to do and we actually do it, the more we trust ourselves, the more we believe in ourselves. Because what happens was that when we are telling ourselves, this is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to do, and then we don't do it. And then we find excuses or we just like drop it, we give up on it, is we're abandoning ourselves. You wouldn't do that with a child. Imagine you, maybe you have a child, maybe you don't, but imagine you have a little child that you take care of and you tell them like, I'm g- we're going to do this and this and this. I'm going to do this and this and this for you. So the child expects you to do this, right? And then... When it comes to doing it, you're like, ah, oh, no, I actually don't feel like, sorry, I'm not going to do it. And then, ah, oh, no, no, this, I have this and this and this reason why I cannot do it, so I cannot do it. What happens? The child will, first of all, be very disappointed. It will feel abandoned. And on top of it all, it will stop trusting you. Because it will learn that you're not going to say, uh, that you're not going to do what you said you're going to do. You're not trustworthy. It can't believe in you in what you're saying because you'll say you'll do something and then you'll go do something else or like not do it at all. So you become very untrustworthy and it will feel very abandoned by you. And that is something many of us are doing to ourselves on a daily basis. No surprise we don't feel confident. No surprise we don't trust ourselves. No surprise we don't believe in ourselves. We are living proof to ourselves every day that we cannot trust ourselves, that we cannot believe in ourselves, and that we cannot do the things that we say we're going to do because we're not doing them. So the trick is really to learn to become aware of what you're telling yourself that you're going to do and be discerning about that. Don't tell yourself I'm going to do a million things that you just realistically know you cannot do. It's just not possible if you say you do, I don't know, 50,000 things in one week. It's just not possible. Be realistic in the promises you make to yourself. Don't keep yourself small. Dream big, but in a realistic way, in a doable way. Just don't tell yourself, I'm going to build a a six-figure business in a week. It's just not realistic. Be honest with yourself. Really have that attitude towards yourself as you would with the child that I used in the example earlier. You would not promise the child that you're going to, I don't know, build a house for it within a day. It's just not realistic. So don't do that with yourself either. But then start sticking to your own promises that you make towards yourself. Start showing up. Start doing the things that you said you were going to do. And you're going to notice how much more confident you're going to feel. How much more you're going to trust yourself. How much more you're going to believe in yourself. And how your life is going to change. And things are starting to happen. And your dreams are actually starting to, to become a reality. Because you're showing up for them. Because you're doing the things that you have to do to get there. And that depends on you and you only. And you can do it all. You can. You just got to start to learn to show up for yourself. And you're going to see your life shift and change in so many ways. Because this is really one of the most powerful tools I learned in the 10 years that I have been in the self-development and personal development scene by now, show up for yourself. If you do that one thing, you're going to see your life transform in so many ways that you never deemed possible. And if this is something you want to experience and you desire support in it, I happily invite you into my upcoming group program quantum leap an eight week immersion into your next level in this program we will not talk only uh, not only talk about how to show up for ourselves to create change in our lives but we're going to talk about the whole spectrum of quantum leaping and and really stepping into our next level and making it a reality for us 
as this topic of showing up for ourselves is a very, very important aspect of the process of quantum leaping. Because if we are not ready to show up for what we want to experience next in our lives, there's no way we can quantum leap into our next level. And so in quantum leap, you'll be guided and supported through the process of really understanding how to initiate a quantum leap so to start the process of really activating and stepping into your next level whenever you feel like it's time for you to do that how to facilitate a quantum leap and bring the whole not just start it but bring the real bring the process really into into its full activation and navigate this process and really learn how to facilitate and navigate the whole process and what it takes for you to really make it happen and how to handle yourself, how to hold yourself and how to support yourself as you move through it. Because every time we quantum leap, it's not just only new good stuff. It also means we have to look at what we need to let go and what we might need to heal and release. And so there is this aspect of facilitating the quantum leap, which is doing the things we need to do to land on the other side and there is the aspect of navigating it which means knowing how to handle our emotions how to process our emotions how to heal and release what needs to be healed healed and released and how to hold ourselves through the process and last but not least we're also gonna talk of course about landing this quantum leap safely on the other side and learning how to hold this new energy like learning how to be so strong and so solid and so expanded within ourselves that we do not need to reject that which we created because that is often something that I see that people decide to create something but they have not created the space within themselves they have not created the expansion to actually hold it when it comes so it comes in it expands them too much they're not used to this kind of expansion so they drop it they drop their power and then they did everything right and they did the quantum leap but they can't land it as soon as the thing comes in they lose it again and so this is also something we're going to look at and each of those aspects we're going to do one module to each of those aspects which is going to last two weeks we're going to have one big teaching call where we're going to talk about um the theoretical aspect of everything and the wis the wisdom and the knowledge that is needed for us to understand and to do that and we're gonna have a practice where we're gonna go into the quantum field together and we're gonna do the quantum work to to support our quantum leap to create and support our quantum leap and do what we need to do from a quantum energetic aspect and then we're gonna have a Q and a call in the second week and an embodiment practice where we're gonna integrate what we did in the practice call of each module on a physical level on a physical plane and so this is going to be a very powerful journey and you can do it over and over again this is really a toolbox this is not a one-time thing this is a journey at a course in which you're going to learn that all the tools that you need to create quantum leaps for yourself over and over and over again and go through them with ease and grace and know exactly how to handle the things that come up along the way. So it is an immensely supportive journey for the rest of your life. Like these tools are really golden. You can use them over and over and over again to create whatever you desire in your life. And yeah, it's going to be an eight week process. We're going to start January 24th. And right now you can get in for the pre-launch deal if you desire that. So currently, if you purchase the course, you are getting during the pre-launch phase, you are getting a one-on-one -on -one session with me on top as a gift, which is super cool. And so this is a very, very powerful program. And if this calls to you, if this is something that resonates with you, I really invite you to to join us in this journey and if there's anything you still need to know or um, you're on the fence about it you can always dm me you can always contact me and i'll happily see with you if that's the right place for you to be in and if you feel the call and it's just a yes full body yes i want this this is for me then just send me a dm that you're in and 
we're gonna go from there. Well, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you got a lot out of it. Oh, oh yeah, nearly forgot. So the current deal, the pre-launch deal is the course currently in the pre-launch phase is 444 euros for the eight weeks with the four modules, eight calls. And on top of that, you get the one-on-one session with me as a gift currently, which is valued at 255 euros. So if you'd only take the one-on-one session, you'd pay 255 and that's what you're getting as a gift for free when you are purchasing the course in the pre-launch phase for 444 euros. And you can do the one-on-one session before the course, you can do it during the course, you can do it in a certain time frame, like up to six months after the course. So it's really up to you when you need that extra support with me. And my one-on-one sessions are very, very powerful. People have really had the craziest experiences and the the biggest shifts and a lot of people have have told me like working with you in a one-on-one session is one of the most powerful experiences I ever had like the session with you was one of the most powerful sessions I ever experienced so these are incredible to support you in changing your life so if you feel the call this pre-launch deal is only available until there's a sales page until there is an actual an actual launch happening so i cannot say from now when that will be it will happen somewhere before christmas so if you are feeling called don't stay on the fence about it for too long let me know and if it's the space for you take the chance right now to get this amazing pre-launch deal and get a session a one-on-one session with me on top for free as a gift to celebrate with you that we're going to quantum leap together into our next level. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then leave me a thumbs up, leave me a review. I really appreciate any comments that you leave. I appreciate all the thumbs up, all the reviews. And yeah, I read all the comments that you leave for me. So I'm really, really happy if you leave me a comment, tell me what you got out of this episode. And yeah, just thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. And I can't wait to talk to you again in the next episode of Soul Alchemy.